Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Oka Solo. In the last few episodes, we sail north against all the might of winter. This time, we finally arrive back in Bella Bella, our home base. Cruising pretty good. We're doing six knots. I've been through these waters quite a few times, so it's great to be uh, back in waters that I know. And I know there's only the one rock in the middle of the channel that I have to to watch for in about uh, ten miles or so. Uh, we'll. Uh, it's about. It's a uh, twenty min twenty minutes to four o'clock, so it's gonna get dark at around uh, five o'clock is when the sun is gonna be, like, go over the horizon. So we'll have maybe some light until six o'clock. I'm looking forward to get back to Bella Bella because I have some big projects. The main project right now is going to be to build a new solar arch because as you can see in the videos, it's kind of holding on to a, like, dear luck. I first designed a lot of different plans for the arch, but I had to make sure that it all fit perfectly, otherwise uh, the big problem that I had with the setup uh, that, that I've had for the last few months, not only it's not solid enough, the panels kind of move around uh, when uh, in big swell, but it was hindering the access to the mizzen sail and the sheet, so I was basically never using the mizzen, which is kind of a big deal on a catch, like it, it's not just there for decoration, uh, the, it's actually affecting the center of effort of the sails. So, not only has to accommodate the the mizzen sail, but it's also got to fit the the wind vane, because otherwise, what's the point of having a wind vane if I can't use it? Uh, for those that don't know, a wind vane is basically an autopilot for a sailboat. So in theory, it should pivot off the back bolts and I should be able to drop the whole arch and get the panels on by myself. So we'll see.
Okay, I'm gonna start. Okay, I, I think uh, you can be good there. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can, you can uh, now you got a build out here. You gotta stick some bunks out here and stuff. <laughs> you got all this dry area now. Right? It actually, it doesn't look as horrible as I thought it would look. Yeah. So if they want to put the panel away and use the mizzen sail, it just slides. And uh, because there's an angle to the arch, I just have to mess around with the the halyard. And also, I can't uh, sail without that halyard. So it does it doesn't matter that I have to put the solar panel away while sailing because I have no choice. It's hard to do it with only one hand. There it goes for the last bit. <laughs> I just have to make sure that it lines up in the track. And that's the safest place for it. I'd like to also make it a davit just so that I could uh, put the dinghy there. Um, I have to do a few modification to it to do that. But, and one of the next projects is gonna be enclosed cockpit. So that's just a temporary setup. Uh, the, uh, the pulleys are just held by ropes there. Uh, but I wanted to see if there would be a lot of flex to the arch, which there is a little bit. I'm, not confident that I would want the dinghy to be there in a storm, but I mean, it's pretty solid. Like it doesn't sway too much. So, the what I call pulleys uh, or locks uh, is actually just a, a shackle with a, a little pulley piece in it. Because pulleys are too damn expensive.